my name's Diana and I'm about to unbox what I hope is the RuneQuest slipcase set. If it's not been sent to me from Chaosium and it's not the RuneQuest slipcase set, then instead you get to see a grown adult cry. But this looks like it is a box full of happiness. Now, no true Humakti would ever be without a weapon. So there's another box inside, maybe we've, we've made a terrible mistake here and we're just going to be unboxing things forever, but if we are we'll show it on Vine. Push this aside. This does seem to be now the right size. Still to scale, and this is the scale of my cup of tea. So, from how big an adult I am, you could, oh yes, it's so lovely. You can tell how big this is going to be. Oh, that's beautiful. So I've already got the original book, and the printing on this is so sharp and so lovely. The original book, there we go, role playing in Glorantha, had a little bit of a problem with the printing of maps and other things they just they were very beautiful but they came out dark so i'm going to be looking at that but first of all i'm going to be cuddling my thing now the trick when opening something with a knife is only to let it go that far beyond your fingers lovely so lovely this is all them and there are some other people I don't care about so much and some interesting exercises in foreshortening and then three books inside here so this is actually a pack it's got adventures in and a screen I've got all this in PDF already but for a thing that is simply one adventure pack that's absolutely awesome it's like adventure pack gm screen an entire setting for the city of clear wine i really rather love it we'll take photos of it later so don't worry about getting the angles okay this is brighter and better than the one i've already got The map is still tough to read, but that's because it's getting everything on. I think that it's better. And now I'm going to have a look at... Ah, yes. So, this original image is supposed to be dark, but in the original you couldn't actually tell where all these lines were. So that's been lightened up quite a lot. This is a second edition, so it's taken off some of the errors and some of the small problems. It all seems a little bit brighter. Oh, and the map at the back has is just finally got all the greens right. It's it's so much more lovely. I think it may also oh no, right up at the top of the city of Bold Home, there's still an empty blue circle. So yes, that is brighter. It's still as beautiful, but you can see the beauty more. And then, bestiary. Awesome, beautiful, got all the things that I want in. Unfortunately, I'm trying not to spoil them myself because I've only been playing Glorantha, in Glorantha at all for uh, eight months, maybe. And my GM has been throwing things at me and I've been getting to learn to meet them as we go along. So I'm trying not to spoil them myself, but this is very helpful because I do occasionally run and write things. So that's the bestiary. And I am well chuffed with the brightness and especially the blues of all that which is wood covered. I'd like to see this as a great big huge blown up picture. I'd like to see a little more contrast because that's not quite doing it for me but that's the tiniest thing 
I really, really love this and it's awesome and I cannot wait to get to grips with the clear wine work in here. So everyone, thank you. It is an awesome thing and I am so happy and I'm going to hug it all again.